is PHTV Channel 4 in Palos Heights. I'm Sue Jankowski, and we are at the library. And as we do every month, we bring you all the great things that are happening at the library. Well, actually, probably not all of the great things, because there's so many things happening there. But it's the highlights, things that we don't want you to miss, and things you might need to sign up for, or you are unaware of. So um, today we are with um, Matt, who um, really officially started his role as head of public services. So great to have you here, Matt, with us. Thank you. Yeah, big shoes to fill. <laughs> well, we'll miss Janine, but we really are happy to have you with us. Um, and Tina, who's head of Youth and Teen Services. And uh, Tina, I'm really excited for uh, you all upstairs because... You finally uh, are having kind of everything in order up there. And uh, if people don't realize it, um, they should come and visit because it's spectacular upstairs in the youth and teen department. Yes, yes. Things are finally kind of getting into place after months and months of planning. So it's good. It's good. And so worth it. I think uh, everybody in, in the city will be so um, amazed by the changes and the interesting and the fun and the opportunities that uh, the kids and teens and everybody will have upstairs. Actually, even adults like a lot of what's going on upstairs. Definitely. They ask for coloring pages too for, to create <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> but they do. It's really, really cute. So if you haven't been there, you're going to want to go on over there and, and take a peek because it's it's really beautiful and fun. Uh, okay, well, let's get started. We're, we're working on February right now, and um, you know we're moving on pretty soon. We'll be in spring, but right now we're still in winter, and we've got some great things to do there. So, um, Matt, would you um, give us a, a just a rundown of all the things that um, the mostly adults will be able to do? Yes. Uh, before we start with that, though, I just want to announce that. Uh, the library will be closed on Friday, February 10th. We have our uh, one of our two staff in service days of the year. So we'll be uh, busy training to serve you even better. So we'll be closed that day. And now let's get to the slides here. Um, Matt, I just want to mention that even though the library is closed, there is access to uh, a lot of services online. So people can check books out and look around and and um, do things that way. That is true. Our, uh, you know, our, our electronic resources like you know, checking out ebooks, the audiobooks, magazines uh, from Libby and uh, Access 360, those never close. So the building may be closed, but you can still uh, get access to those materials. That's great. So, All yeah. Right. And, you know, we're, we're still, like you said, in February here. So, hey, if you don't want to leave your car, can uh, just pull up to the library, give us a call, and we will bring your items out to you with our curbside pickup. Uh, people are using that a lot. That's a wonderful uh, service. It is. And uh, our home delivery service, uh, you know, forget not getting out of your car. If you don't want to leave your home, we can help you out with that as well. The home delivery service uh, used to be for people who, you know, for medical reasons, couldn't get out of their houses. But uh, when the pandemic started, we decided, hey, why not just deliver to anybody and everybody? So uh, feel free to give us a call and we will bring uh, your items to your door. Uh, that actually is getting more and more popular. I think in the past two weeks, we've had uh, five new signups for this. So that you know. is such a marvelous service. I mean, you know, there's people who just don't feel comfortable and there's not medically a reason. But they don't feel comfortable going out if the weather is inclement. So that is wonderful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So take advantage of that. Just give us a call. Good. And now, uh, moving into our programs, uh, we are kicking off February with uh, James Harriet, The Simple Life of the World's Most Famous Veterinarian. Uh, of course, if you've ever read or seen the All Creatures Great and Small uh, books or TV show, uh, this is, uh, you know, the main character, James Harriet. He wrote the books. So, uh, yeah. The new season of that show starts uh, January 15th on PBS for the remake show. So uh, we got this slotted in here February 7th, right uh, in the middle of that. So, you know, if you're watching, you can uh, see see about the life uh, he lived in reality as opposed to just uh, the story on the screen. So, you know, 
James Harriet, those books, I read them all. They're wonderful books. Uh, they're just so interesting. If you think that it wouldn't be interesting to find out what a veterinarian did in, um, is he England? I can't remember. It's been so long since I read the book. I, I mean, it's, it's fascinating and it's fun. It's fun yeah. reading. It is. And yeah, the presenter, uh, she has, we've had her before. Claire. Um, and she she actually went to the Yorkshire Dales in England where uh, the novels and the TV show are based. So she has a lot of her own photos from that area and we'll, we'll take a look. Cool. Uh, then coming up on Thursday, February 9th at 6.30 p.m., uh, The Surreal World of Salvador Dali. So uh, starting uh, mid-February, the Art Institute is going to be having a Dali exhibit. So we have a uh, famed uh, art uh, lecturer, Jeff Misher. He's going to be back to talk all about Dali and his works and their impact and uh, all of that good stuff. So people love Jeff Misher. So this is going to, this one's going to fill up fast, I think. So get your yeah. seat observed. It's uh, really interesting art. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, then we have our uh, first technology class of the month, iPhone basics, uh, you know, a lot of don't be don't be shy. A lot of people are out here. Uh, we have this program a lot, and we have it a lot because it always fills up. So uh, come learn about your iPhone and how to work it. You know, I probably you know I think I know stuff, and then you know somebody shows me something else. I had no idea my phone could do that. So even if you think you know stuff, you might want to join that class anyway. That is very true. Uh, then uh, just in time, well. Just after Valentine's Day, we have a movie music romance, and that's going to be uh, a collection of uh, 23 uh, love songs and dances from throughout cinema history, all kind of compiled into uh, one big chunk where our presenter, John Laguerre, he'll uh, talk about them, share some facts and trivia. And, you know, it's, it's nice just to see some of these, you know, we got scenes from Judy Garland, uh, Ginger Baker, all those uh, kind of people. So... It'll be a good trip down memory lane, I think. It sure will. That's, that, that was cute. Those are cute times. Yes. Uh, then continuing on with the theme, uh, we have Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris on Sunday, February 19th for our Sunday at the Cinema for February. So if you haven't seen that in theaters or if you just want to see it again, uh, you can come see it on our big screen in the library. Good. Uh, then our Book discussion. I talked about this last month. Our new book discussion, Tea Time on Tuesday, is where um, you know people come in to our reading room and with the fireplace and you know drink tea and uh, talk about books. And it is it's really taken off. So you know if you are curious about it, you won't be the only one there. Feel free to uh, stop in. Uh, you know you can grab the book ahead of time at the circ desk. Uh, bring a mug, and we'll provide the tea. Well, that just sounds charming. That sounds like uh, such fun, especially through the winter months. Yes, for sure. All right. And then I am uh, pretty excited for this one. So we have Blues Music in America, Tuesday, February 21st at 6.30 p.m. Uh, we have a local Chicago blues uh, musician coming in. Uh, his name is Fruitland Jackson. And he's going to not only talk about the history of blues, you know, from the Mississippi Delta up north of Chicago to modern times, He's going to uh, intersperse uh, talking about the history of the blues with actual, he's going to bring in his guitar. He's going to do some performances and sing and play guitar. And I'm really excited for it. It's going to be great, I think. Oh, that is fabulous. Now, is that something you need to sign up for? Yes, I would definitely sign up for this one. Uh, yeah, he's going to be here live and in person in our uh, meeting room. So, yeah, I think that one will also be filling up pretty quickly. So I think so. Should be good. Uh, and then uh, finally, for uh, the adult side of things here, uh, we have we had them last year, the Fab Lab Tours. We're doing them again this month on uh, Sunday, February 5th at 2 p.m. And then again on Thursday, February 23rd at 6.30 p.m. Uh, and yeah, this is just, you know, the first one in January, the first couple, they filled up. So we want to give people more of an opportunity to come uh, check out our new Fab Lab, see what you can make, see the machines, and then, you know, sign up to come in and make your own projects. Um, like, what would they be looking at if they came in there? 
So they will be looking at um, our Glowforge machine, which is a laser cutter. You can see in these pictures uh, kind of the wood uh, pieces that are there. Uh, they were done in the Glowforge. Uh, they will look at the 3D printer, which you know some of the plastic pieces you can see here, they were all made with our 3D printer. Uh, we'll also, we have a Cricut machine, uh, which can you know cut out vinyl decals, uh, cardstock uh, for projects. Uh, we also have a, a hat press and a mug press, which you know you can uh, make your own uh, hats and mugs, kind of put your your logo or your decal on there. And so yeah, it's all it's all fun stuff. And it's all people can actually do it. It just sounds complicated. It sounds complicated. Um, once you actually start the process of doing it, um, it, it is not as difficult as it seems, at least okay. that's the hope. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're here to walk people through it. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're a Palisade resident, you can come in and use the machines. Uh, if you have your own material, you can do that. Uh, if you need some material from us, there's a very nominal fee for it. Like, you know, a piece of the plywood to use in the Glowforge is like three bucks. So not a great barrier to entry. And yeah, it's it's pretty popular. So, well, okay, that sounds great. I mean, yeah. it would be wonderful to learn those things. Indeed. All right. Well, I will uh, stop talking and turn it over to Tina. Okay. Great. Thanks. And Tina, we're we're glad to have uh, you to tell us all about all the good things that are happening for the youth and teens. Yes. So let me just preface this by saying that all of our programs are in person and you do need to register for everything. Because, oh, okay. Yeah. Things have been filling up much more quickly now that we've been upstairs, which is a good thing. <laughs> it, is, it is a good thing. Yes. So um, people have been asking about when our story time's coming back. So the answer is February. Our story times are back in session. So uh, we have our Tales for Twos program that is going to be on Wednesdays throughout February um, at 1130. And that program, that story time is geared toward 24 to 35 month old children. Um, when you register once for one of these programs, it automatically saves you a spot for all of the story times for the rest of the month. So you only need to register once. Great. That's helpful. And also on Wednesdays, we have Kindergarten Ready. Um, that's at one o'clock for children ages three to five years old. Um, this story time, it kind of like, we're reinforcing some of those like skills that they tend to hone in on in preschool. So the alphabet, numbers, counting, colors. So really just using stories and literature to help bring that out for the kids. And there's a lot of interaction um, I run this one. So there's a lot of interaction between me and the kids and having them participate with our flannel board. And it's just a good time. That is. And that's a, a great thing because kindergarten for some will start before you know it. Yes. And our little wigglers is there for our youngest patrons. Um, the infants that are really, you could just come in with them probably say, oh, I just had this little one like four days ago, and that's totally fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on in, enjoy the program, um, learn how to interact with your child is pretty much like what this program is about. And you're doing like finger plays and you're doing um, different things to kind of like help get their hands going, help them clap more. So, and this program takes place on Thursdays throughout February at 1130. Good. That's and that's fun for for moms or dads or grandparents or whoever it brings them. It's it's a fun time for you too. Yeah, and we get parents that are new parents, and they're just like, you know, I don't know how to do any of this. I don't know like how to do anything, and we're like, that's fine. Like that's kind of why you're here. So good. Exactly. You need that a uh, little bit of education so you have fun with your mm -hmm. little one. And we have heart wreaths on um, Thursday, February 2nd at four o'clock for uh, children in grades kindergarten through third grade. And this is just one of our craft programs to help them get into the Valentine Day spirit. I love Valentine's Day. It's just fun. Yeah. It's a, a holiday about love. Who doesn't love it? <laughs> and could it be sweeter? No, it can't. It's just <laughs> a lovely, lovely time. Mm -hmm. 
And he, this is another craft for our uh, children in grades third through fifth grade. It is bubble wrap picture frame art. So we're going to provide the bubble wrap and the picture frame and the paint. And you're going to make, just create a work of art and you're going to be able to put whatever picture you want in the picture frame. So if you want to make it a gift for grandma and grandpa or mom and dad or a babysitter, you can gift it any way that you like and just come over here and use our supplies. Cute. Mm -hmm. Our furry readers is back on Wednesday, February 8th at 4.30. Uh, this program is for all ages. And yeah, you can just come in, grab a book. And then we usually have about four to five dogs um, that are participating in the program. And they're all certified therapy dogs. And it's it, a great program to have because you truly like we have all ages on here. We truly get all ages coming here to like read to the dogs and some kids can read and some kids can't and some are teenagers and some just want to pet the dogs. And that's great. Well, the dog actually doesn't know if you're reading or not. You can make up the story as you go along. <laughs> exactly. So it's just great. It's a fun program. It really would be. And I'm excited about this. We have a virtual author visit with Shannon Hale and Lee Win Pham. Um, they're the authors and illustrator of the Real Friends graphic novel series. Um, and please register for this program. It is on Saturday, February 11th from 3 to 4. So you're going to be getting two people that you can talk to that create graphic novels. So you are going to hear from their experience from the author side and you're going to hear from the drawing side and it's just it's going to be great um we're actually partnering with i believe 18 other libraries to bring this program to kids so yes please come and register if you like graphic novels or even if you don't like graphic novels and you want to learn more about them come on in you might want to write your own graphic novel. This would be a good way to find out the do's and don'ts of writing a graphic novel. Yeah. And this is all through Zoom. So you don't even need to come to the library. You just stay at home and you interact with an author. How cool is that? It really is. And on Monday, February 13th at four o'clock for our teens, grades six through 12, we have a popcorn party. But... Not only do we have a popcorn party with like all the fixins and all the flavors and stuff that you can put on popcorns, we are also going to be viewing Dumplin' on our TV in the YA room. So it's popcorn in a movie. Come on up. Awesome. Also a program I'm very much looking forward to, Mo Willems Day. Um, we are going to be having this program on Friday, February 17th at 11 o'clock for children ages two to five. So if you are fans of Elephant and Piggy, which many of you are, and if you're fans of the Pigeon and Nuffle Bunny and all of the great Mo Willems characters, you are going to enjoy this program because it is we're going to be having a lot of different interactive stations Um about the characters that Mo Willems has created. I think everybody loves Mo Willems. Mm -hmm. He's just a um, great, great writer. Yes. On Tuesday, February 21st at four o'clock for children grades, kindergarten through third grade, we have night sky studies. So if you've ever wondered about different constellations or stars or, um, our galaxy, please come and attend this program and learn something new so that when you go camping this summer, you can point out different constellations and it amaze your family. It would. That sounds good. We have a Lego Builders program on Wednesday, February 22nd at four o'clock. Uh, this is also one of those all ages programs. And we provide the Legos and you just come and you create whatever you want. Good. Very. Use your imagination. Yes. Just another form of a creative outlet during our cold winter months. Yeah. 
Minute to Win It competition is on Thursday, February 23rd, um, and it's for children grades third through fifth grade. And we will be presenting different challenges to you and your friends. And we're going to see if you can complete those challenge challenges in one minute. Wow. And that's so fun. I mean, the minute makes it so much more exciting. Yes. Yes. I definitely gives me like anxiety from like playing <laughs> perfection. Have you ever like that game with like the different pieces? It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is. It's true. Mm -hmm. And that wraps up February. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun for February and uh, a lot to do. So don't forget to register the, for the programs that you need to register for it, which is all of them. And uh, so you can participate and uh, get on over there. And if you haven't been over, like I said before, you need to stop by uh, upstairs at the Youth and Teen Services. Everybody, everybody needs to go look at it because it's just pretty, pretty great. Well, Tina and Matt, thanks for joining us today. And we will uh, see our library. Uh, people either at the library or next time when we are filming at the library. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.